so I made a pretty significant decision about how I'll be running my life and my business moving forward and I figured I would come on to talk about it share my experience with you guys let you know what's going on in my life a lot of you guys may know I recently got dumped <laughs> by my girlfriend of eight years and it has been um, it's been interesting I think overall I've dealt with it pretty well but one of the decisions I've made as a result of that and as a result of the inconsistency of my freelancing career um, typically I probably have like one or two maybe three uh, months out of the year where it's just really dry you know I have a couple consistent couple hundred bucks coming in off of social media deals and stuff like that per week um, but overall if I'm going months without shooting booking and shooting a music video it's detrimental especially when I run out of money to be able to run ads and things like that so I have made the decision to apply for a full-time nighttime warehouse gig with Amazon I'm supposed to start in one week from today working from 5 30 p.m. to 4 a.m. so the past week or so I've been in the process of trying to flip my sleeping schedule because that's like literally the hours <laughs> that I typically sleep are the hours I signed up to work. You know, I did this for multiple reasons. Um, you know, the main reason being uh, financially, I need more stability. Jumping from uh, gig to gig and just getting by on little gigs, and then worrying about taxes, worrying about um, you know bill subscription, all these things. Um, it forces me to sometimes, if business is slow, I'm having to discount prices on services that I really would rather not uh, and as a result of that I have to lower the quality I have to hire less crew do things of that sort um, and I have to maybe take on jobs that I don't really want to do just to make that money because I need it right so uh, on the positive side moving to a full-time job with decent pay going to and has already allowed me to relieve a lot of that stress from being full-time gig to gig and I want to make sure that you know a lot of people come on my page and they follow my content because I have been doing it full-time uh, for most of the past four years I've been doing this completely full-time and one thing that I could do is you know go back to discounts lowering my price but I like I said I don't want to lower my level of quality I don't want to be overwhelmed with work particularly work that I'm not passionate about um, and then also just going through this breakup, um, typically my schedule as you know, a freelancer is I'll wake up at about 4 or 5 a.m. Um, and I'll work out and I'll work for maybe like 12 to 15 hours. And then after that, you know, my brain is exhausted and uh, at the stage I am, I end up scrolling on social media, scrolling on TikTok, comparing myself to, you know, all these other couples and in, in happy relationships. On social media and I just needed a way to um, you know occupy my mind make make a solid government check steady government check have a w-2 get a tax return you know what I mean and also just you know to keep my brain occupied so I'm not just stuck in my head all the time uh, and also to socialize with some people my age most of the people who work at the Amazon warehouse are around my age over the past four years I have been solely focused on my my freelancing business I've been 100 percent just sacrificing everything putting relationships to the side putting my personal health to the side to try and make this happen and it's been four years of trying to make this happen I've lost my myself my my fitness my spiritual health my mental health I sacrificed all that and I still haven't had some sort of you know big break I've, obviously I have done a lot I've accomplished a lot I'm very proud of everything that I've been able to do I've traveled the country um, you know I've done tons of, of music videos I've done I've done a lot that I am very proud of but moving forward you know I, I was just watching one of my old vlogs and it's really cool to look back on it but two two to three years ago was when I moved back home and I'm still here I haven't been able to create an opportunity enough to bring in enough consistent income off of my freelancing business 
uh, to move out, you know what I mean, at, at least in LA. And I, I would like to continue to, to build my business in LA. So that's why I've made the decision to move from full-time filmmaker to part-time filmmaker for the time being. So I can save up money with this steady job and hit my financial goals quicker. Even though I am giving up a large portion of my time to get this job done, it actually is bringing me some peace of mind and some freedom um, to be able to move better and, um, you know, have some cash reserves saved if I do decide to go back into full time. That, that, that's why I'm doing it. I don't want anybody to take this as discouragement, to think that it's not possible um, from, where, from whatever situation you're in to make something like this happen. I have made a lot happen. Um, it's just at this point in my life, this point in my career, in my business, it's, a, it's a, just a little bit too inconsistent. So that's why I made this decision. I'm sure you guys understand the position I'm in. I'm sure a lot of people are in a similar position. Uh, and I hope that my story can inspire you in some way. Do not let it deter you. Do not let it deter you from your mission and what you would like to accomplish. You know, but, and understand that everybody's journey is different. What works for me might not work for you. What works for you might not work for me. You just got to keep going at it. I know that I'm not giving up on my dream, on my business. I'm simply changing the strategy. And it does feel like I am giving up a lot, but you know, at the same time, <clears throat> I'm young. I'm not going to be able to handle a job like this uh, when I'm older, I'm sure. So I'm going to take the opportunity to do the best I can uh, with the tools that I have at my disposal. So it is what it is. I, ha I do have mixed emotions about it. I start in one week. I am pretty excited, um, a little bit nervous, but I'm, I'm ready for this change. It's a decision I made for my best interest. I hope you guys can see that. <laughs> uh, and if you want to throw some hate my way, I don't care, man. <laughs> I really don't care. I got to do, I got to do what's best for me. You got to do what's best for you. So I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video and listen to what I got going on in my life and how I'm navigating it. At the moment, I am 26 years old, living in Los Angeles at my parents' house. Um, it's really expensive to live in LA, you know what I mean? Um, even just with gas and uh, you know other types of bills that I have to pay, it's tough. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna leave you guys with, with that little spiel. I'm gonna go hit the gym, get my fitness on. I'm down 15 pounds, shout out to me. I'm going to keep this trend going. I'm going to keep working hard for myself and my family, my future family. I'm going to keep working on myself, keep going to therapy, keep, um, keep learning how to be present in the moment. I was so caught up in work, I let it distract me from my relationships. I was never present in my relationship. And now that I don't have that relationship, I'm like, man, where does it actually end? Like, when do I give my brain a break? So... After doing this for four years, I feel like I'm really spinning on a hamster wheel, <laughs> and um, I need that that financial stability to help me build that, continue to build the foundation for my business and for my life, and hit my financial goals. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that, man. Stay confident, stay creative. I'm still gonna be dropping as much as possible on my social media accounts, bringing as much valuable, va bringing as much value as possible. I'm still dropping music videos. I'm still working with businesses. I'm still picking up social media contracts. I'm just gonna be doing it on my off days. Um, instead of putting this daily pressure on myself to close a deal, and then if I don't close a deal, I beat myself up and I am done. I am done placing my self-worth on how my business is doing and it's really hard when your business is down bad like that so that's why I made this decision <laughs> once again uh, I appreciate you guys for coming with me on this journey I appreciate you guys for listening to me I appreciate you guys for believing in yourself and pushing yourself it inspires me every single time uh, you guys comment and like my stuff and watch my stuff and share my stuff so I appreciate it make sure you drop a subscribe and a like on this video because I am going to be dropping some heat Make sure you check out my other videos. I got vlogs, I got music videos, all that good stuff. Check out my playlist, Get Your Foot in the Door, where I actually go door to door and cold call and show the whole process negotiating with clients, closing client deals. This stuff takes time, man. So that's why I gotta do what I gotta do. Appreciate y'all for listening. I'll talk to you later. Peace.